by a melody An anthem I have always known A song that's always been Thanks so much for sharing that new song, Echo Holy, with us. We've got Jake, we've got Corey, we've got Jess from Red Rocks Worship, and amazing song. So tell us a little bit more about just kind of the story behind, behind it, the motivation uh, behind writing it. Um, yeah, just unpack it for us. Yeah, well, first, thanks for having us. Uh, it's, a, it's awesome to be here with Church Front, <laughs> and what a great resource you guys have provided. So, um, yeah, I, we started to write this song, really this whole album that we're getting ready to release, Things of Heaven, um, 
a huge portion of it was written over COVID and quarantine. And we were going into a record season and the album was going to look really different. Like it was a bunch of different songs. And, um, you know, we kind of, we kind of hit pause as COVID started and we just started writing. And I think it's been really cool to see God brought a bunch of songs into our house that I think were really timely for Red Rocks church and hopefully for (laughs) other churches, but if not, definitely for our church and that kind of really became the 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 scope of this record that we're releasing and echo holy was one of the first songs that we had written in that season mm-hmm. and i remember Corey, he was really saying you know i really think we have to focus on we have to focus on vertical songs of mm-hmm. worship in this season um and trying to take ourselves out of the equation as much as possible we are we are part of the equation but really the whole goal of this is for us to to glorify Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I think we can get really caught up with our perspective on that, which is good. But Corey was just kind of really talking about, let's get vertical songs of worship in this time. And that was one of the first songs that we had written. We were on Zoom um, in like late March, early April, right as quarantine was going. And it was a Zoom write. And um, I just remembered when we were kind of starting to get it together, I was like, wow, this is this is exactly what we were talking about is like just the song at heaven's throne and a picture of what it might be like when we're there just worshiping Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It ended up like Jake said, being really important for first and foremost, like for us personally, I I think I I walked away from that riot being really uh, inspired for a lot of the reasons Jake said, I, I felt like the Lord had been, leading me through this thing like hey you are like I died for you like you are a massive part of this equation but um, it's it's gonna the the hard part for you is gonna be pulling away from all of this that's in front of you um, and focusing this way so when we finished writing the song we wrote it with Mia Fields and Ran Jackson who are by the way if you ever hear Ran Jackson sing you'll never want to personally sing again (laughs) he's just so good it's crazy um but we, we walked away with this song, and I was like, what a gift, like, for me. What a gift. It's an invitation of, like, five minutes of getting to say, like, hey, I'm not going to worry about COVID. I'm not going to worry about everything that's been kind of thrown at me on social media and mm-hmm. news. And I'm, I'm just not going <clears> to <throat> focus on that. There's a time and place to, like, steward that. But for now, for these next five minutes... I'm putting every ounce of my mental energy, emotional energy, affection, attention, everything. I'm just going to put it on who you are, Jesus, and like who you've been, who you promised mm-hmm. me that you will be forever. Um, and so that's, it's, it's a fun song because as a worship leader, I, like, we kind of get to, it, it's our job to kind of like gauge the room sometimes, you know, be like, how you guys doing? You good? Okay. <laughs> uh, this song is like a, hey, go with me. We're going to, we're going to like focus on the throne room. We're going to mm-hmm. focus on like, the, we're going to yeah. host the presence of God right now. Um, yeah. Thoughts? Oh yeah. Um, when I, I wasn't a part of this, right. But I remember I was at Jake's studio and we were like working on a different project and he goes, Hey, can I just show you this really quick? And I was like, yeah. And he started playing it in the opening line. I just remember like sitting back in my seat and just having a moment Mm -hmm. and just taking like a deep breath. And I think that there was like this overarching theme for our team that we really did want vertical worship for our church. Like we're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. It's really easy, like Corey was saying, to just look around at everything that's going on and be like, save me, like help. (laughs) There will be breakthrough. (laughs) (laughs) But I think it was like, such a timely reminder that even in the midst of all of this, like we are going to join with heaven Mm -hmm. and we're going to sing holy, holy, holy is the Lord God almighty Mm -hmm. who was and is and is coming back. Like Mm -hmm. it's just, I I, I don't know. I just couldn't have like picked a better, better message for our church. And and I think at the time it felt like, and I think it's good, but a lot of churches, including ours, were really focusing on, you know, how do you get through this difficult time and this pandemic Mm -hmm. and this thing? And and everybody was throwing around words like crazy and unprecedented. And that had really been the focus of a lot of churches for the last like nine months is just talking about this unprecedented season that we've gone Mm -hmm. through. And I think that's good. I think that we should encourage each other and, and find godly and biblical ways to approach uh, suffering. But I think the approach on this album and particularly this song as well was to go, 
let's stop focusing on the difficulties of right now. Mm -hmm. Let's stop just fixing our eyes on like, okay, how do we just get through? And I think instead it was, look, let's just, let's be creatures of praise. Yeah. Let's turn mm -hmm. our hearts one yeah. degree closer to heaven and just, we don't have to focus on what's going on in front of us right now. We can focus on that God has a plan to work things together for our good, mm -hmm. and we can believe in that. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one of the things that I just, I most took away from this song was just like, hey, we have an opportunity as a church to either, um, and I mean big C church, to either really focus on how difficult things have been and be negative about it, or we can fix our eyes upwards and we can be who God's called us to be and we can be reflections of his glory and his light here on earth. And, and, I, and I think that this song kind of points to that. It's just saying, hey, this is bigger than me. And one day we're all going to be standing in front of Jesus just worshiping and none of this stuff is going to matter, although yeah. it does matter a lot right now. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I, I love how the song um, puts, us, puts the bigger story in perspective. Like you said, it's like, the, well, in our Christian life, we struggle with the the now but not yet of God's kingdom, where it's like we we get tastes of the kingdom here and now in this age, and, and we also get strong tastes of how the kingdom isn't fully here yet, mm -hmm. like the, a lot of the trials that the whole world has been going through globally for the past you know year or so. And um, listening to that song, I, I mean, I had the same experience when um, when I heard it first time. I was I think I was at when you guys filmed or filmed and recorded it at Littleton for the single that you released, I think that's when I was there working on some sort of tech video with John and the guys, and I had the same reaction. It's just mm -hmm. like, whoa, this is, this song just like makes you kind of pause and yeah. remember, like it kind of mm -hmm. recalibrates your heart, your mindset, uh, and perspective on that greater story of redemption. Mm -hmm. And um, that's I still feel that every time I like click that song on, it's just like something. The combination of the lyrics are very much familiar lyrics like the at least yeah. a lot of the wording of it right it's like you pull, you find this stuff straight in scripture but just the fresh musical take that you guys put on mm. it um it just kind of helps us like snap out of the short-sightedness that totally. we often have yeah. in life and yeah, um good. like you said that kind of oh man this is coming one day we can we can even experience this now to an extent in our churches mm -hmm. worshiping vertically to god but um, it gives us that that hope of the gospel. So yeah. Yeah. thank you guys so yeah. much thank for you, writing thank a song, you. all the great songs. Guys, follow them on all the Instagram and Facebook <laughs> and social accounts. TikTok, do you guys have TikTok yet? We, we do. do. <laughs> TikTok, oh man. <laughs> Jeez. Jess does all the dances, so yeah. it's pretty, do, it's pretty yes. cool. Yeah, so uh, go follow them, guys. <laughs> Links below. And, of course, check out Echo Holy, and I'm sure you can find all the charts. Oh, and you can, yeah. <laughs> you can find all the charts and resources to lead the song at your church uh, mm -hmm. as well. Just go to redrocksworship.com, uh, their website. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Rick.